cancer, have a crappy <laughs> and a sh crappy right knee and a shitty left knee. Is that how that goes? Well, no, the bunions, yeah, bunions come from like just wearing crap. If you had a juicy left knee, you would have bunions. Like if running. Well, um, they say okay. Well, from what I can see online, they say that bunions are hereditary, but even they are, right? yeah, I that. Even, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say even though that my dad had bunions, I don't. I only have bunion on one foot, and I think it's because my mom had yeah. A bunion. Yeah, and then she said, but not so, not happy, not terribly funny. But um, like I said, no. <laughs> Is that Jack? <laughs> um, Jake. Oh gosh, yeah. Has he? Has Minnow peed on something? No, Minnow's been very good in the home. Oh, good. The first night he was here. Yeah. He was on the, you know, but that's big open. Yeah. Um, but since then, no, we haven't had an issue. So here he is right now. He loves me. Oh, what you want to <laughs> Hi, Mino. Hey, hey Mino. Is Mino being good? Is that? He's like, he's in the moment. <laughs> Mino is very in the moment. Say it again. What? He's what? I can't. I can't hear you. He is a different animal for sure. Yeah, he's, but yeah, but um, his penis is tiny. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, he's not your regular dog, not in look or in the way he acts. He's not a dog. Okay, so are you and I in agreement that he's very much not dogish? He's not. He's, but he's quite for. He's a deer. He, yes, he is a deer. You know, it's definitely a deer. And for as, as dainty and build as he is, he's quite agile and athletic. Well, that's just why he said it. Like, he's very much like, 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 she took him out for a run because I was working all day because we had that, you know, thing going on. Yeah. That's it. Um, but anyway, um, he, she's like, he leaps over logs. Yeah, he does yeah, like, hold his little leg out. Because there's a freedom horse that I think was really competitive. So that's like Morgan horses. Yeah. You can Google it, Morgan horses. Yep. Like, and they hold their um, front leg out just kind of like, you oh, know. Oh, wow. The Morgan horse holds the front leg it's up. Yeah. Morgan Minnow's got a cancer. He has. He prances. Yeah. Oh, no. Mino is the fastest on the planet. And he is fast. He is fast for sure. But he's he's also a delight to watch off leash. But but you can see he's got a he prances and he has a canter when he is on leash. It's pretty interesting. It's I mean no, interesting. He, me, he doesn't like being on the line. I don't want to keep him on the line, but it's hunting season right now and I'm oh. super cautious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when it's <laughs> yeah, hunting season. Like, and yeah, hunting season in Mino. <laughs> I don't have that trip, so I don't let him off leash. Yeah. Because I don't even have, like, and, and, and like, I guess, my friend Chuck said that even, like, like this woman got shot in her yard. Uh, yeah, you know, when I first moved to Maine, um, one of the stories I read about the hunters here is that a woman got shot and she was in her house, in her kitchen. So someone shot her, her in the kitchen of her house because they thought it was a deer. <laughs> right, but he, he I mean, honestly, like, like, think about it. You, if you were out with a rifle and a scope and you were going to shoot a deer, you would make sure that you had their heart in your scope. Like, the, not just the animal, but actually, like, if 
I'm going to fire off a bullet to kill something, it's, I'm going to make sure I have a really clean shot at something to kill it, like, on the spot. To, to, a, to, to put the crosshairs at the heart. Well, right. That would be the point of being a good hunter. And you want to drop it quick. You know, that's how it works. Sure. And if you got it quick after you kill it, you have to rip out all the innards just to make it and it will. So it doesn't um, turn into maggot pie? Exactly. If you don't pull out the innards, you have to drop them. And then, you know, other animals are going to eat the innards. So you can leave those out in the woods. And then you drag your thousand pound beast out from. But at any rate, like, yeah, and then you're quite good. No, I get, I get your point, but you know, I get what you, your point in terms of what would be good hunting procedure, you know, get the heart and the well, crosshairs, so drop it and gut it. I don't, well, that's the thing is, when it, yeah, when minnow yeah, looks like a deer and it's deer hunting season, totally get your gesture, uh, and I would... So Bart's ass, Bart. Well, Bart's butt is a little. Looks like a little white. Whitish. Looks like a little white-tailed deer. <laughs> yeah. Well, not really. <laughs> My point being is, any any hunter worth their salt has a target. Any hunter worth their salt has a target. Yeah. Sure. Right. Now, anybody that but, but Chuck told me this just please because he watches the news. I don't watch. Me either. Um, <laughs> not yeah, either. I know. You know I, there's nothing mainstream. But at any rate, um, he said, like, you know, he, tur he turns on the news. Um, and they were, like, talking about this woman. She was in her yard in Maine. Like, in her fucking yard on her property. And she got shot by some idiot. Cause, yeah. That, I mean, that kind of news, like, when I read when I first got here, I'm like, good God, you know, I don't know anything about hunting or holding a gun, but when you shoot a woman in her yard, and what I read, you don't think, that, you don't think they're really smart, is, is all I'm saying, okay? Well, the problem is that, the problem is that I think there need to be better restrictions for hunters, because Exact well, about what they're hunting. You're looking for a target, which would be a deer or whatever you're hunting, or if you're hunting, you know, whatever you're hunting. No, good hunters don't fucking shoot people or dogs. <laughs> or anything. Yeah, but the point is, with but with the, the news, I wouldn't really trust a hunter idiot, in the woods. Here. Well, yeah, it's it's to me that's. Who's to say that's too much of a price to, to pay? Um, I'll just say it before it happens. Being shot by an idiot well, yeah, but you <laughs> is too much of a price to pay. <laughs> For ignorance. vegan I, I am very I am very not super meaty no me either I don't eat a whole lot of meat but you eat meaty I, I say I'm an opportunity for like yeah okay I make, sure I make, I make my choices in my own home when I buy of course and I try to be respectful but if I go to someone's house and they're like I have a blood loin which I don't really ever buy a pig oh. but yeah, I pigs are smart it. Got it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit um, um, opportunistic omnivore, as you say. I, I am selective. Opportunivore. There you go, opportunivore. Oh, but you're cleaning me all year. Sure. I'm hungry. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or and whatever. And I kind of like to have that that a bit of give and play. If you're you're eating out or someone invites you over, it's nice to be flexible. Yeah. Yeah, the choices I make, but I'm not going to be one of those annoying people that is like imposing my shit on everybody else. You know, I just don't want to be like I was like that when I was like 20 years old. Well, I think I think what you're talking about being one of those people that pose shit on everyone else, and you did it when you're 20. You're trying to hone skills with an image, with with a crosshair in mind. Right. And to understand how to hit the crosshair. It seems it's a lot more important when you're younger. I'm just uh, maybe making oh, that yeah. reference at the gym. I, th that w how I train when I was younger and how I see younger people training is with someone who's never arrived at the peak of the mountain. You know, but so they're very fastidious. Well, then maybe you need to start training people. I probably could train people. <laughs> well, no. That could be anything. I mean, honestly, you have so many talents. Like, I honestly want to start a pretty dress company and call it Pretty Dresses. Nice. For big, for a big boob girl. <laughs> you have, no, because it bugs me that now there's all the strappy things on the back, and it's pretty on a woman's back. Because even if you're fat, your back doesn't look fat. I mean, you're not fat. You've never been fat. I've never been fat. Like. Need more support? I, yeah, uh, like a little. Well, a lot of us are used to underwires. I don't know. Do you wear underwire bras or you Honestly, wear bras at all? Honestly, I like to indulge as much as possible not wearing a bra because. Yes. We, I don't but actually, wear working bra. out seems to keep everything kind of like uh, pectorally you in are shape. <laughs> Yeah, there really is a muscle there. <laughs> yeah, there is a muscle underneath these tips. Um, yeah, I keep them upright for this reason. Or, no, well, through this. Well, anyway, so my point being, like, but a lot of women don't, they're not like us. They're not athletes. They don't, they're not athletic in any way. And, but they have big old knockers. But they also want to wear the pretty sundresses. And have the pretty chubby back. So, if we could provide them with pretty dresses, and there's so much pretty material, like it, for me, it would just be simple. It would be bathing suit material. You know, of, yeah. I was gonna say, I think well, I think um, Athleta does a pretty good job with that, only because. Yeah, they charge Well, but you can stock their cells. The only reason I bring that up is because I know you want you to engineer. Want? I, no, I thought it, it's not that good. It's not that good. Well, yeah, I know, I know. But okay, just using that as a reference. Do they? But, but wait, does Athleta have underwire? They might. They might have. Uh, yeah. I, yes. Yes, they do. They have. They've got quite a good engineering bra for what you're what you're asking the only reason i bring that up is because i know you want to create a dress that women with bigger knockers can wear and have have the nice fun little straps on the back but would support the front and but what you need to engineer is right. something that's out of my sewing range it's out of my sewing range because i don't have the right machine for it so I'm, i wouldn't be a person that could engineer this for you. I couldn't engineer so you, the well, bra I, insert. All the machines you have, yes. I'm like, how can we make those work? I got gotcha. you. see something like what you've got 
I'm and they're just sitting there. And I look at that room and I see what you have. I'm like, how can we make this work for everybody? Oh. I know how to make money. Like, I know how to market. And, um, like, just what can we do with those bitches? Like, <laughs> well, maybe we can make underwire pretty dresses. I actually think we can. I can't. Well, no, I'm just saying that the dresses aren't a problem. It's you're talking a bra insert, and for that, I'd need a different yeah, machine. Yeah, it has to be a bra insert. It has yeah. To be a, it has to be like you're putting a new bra, but you have a pretty dress. Well, you yeah. know what you can do, actually. Um, yeah, you can do. You can not give a shit. Well, you can not give a shit, like, of course. Uh, but but since we're having this conversation, like, um, one of the things that 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 one could do is. Uh, oh, when in, in garment you making, Minnow does. Minnow knows. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. Well, he's, or either that or he's super bored because I haven't. He, I didn't take him to Walmart. Oh, that's right. Because I haven't taken him to Walmart. Yeah. 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 Because He probably didn't know where to go. Oh, it's fine. Dog poop. Like, whatever. It's no big deal. It, it can, he, yeah. He only did it one night. Aww. Yeah. He just laid, oh. laid a turd down. <laughs> I'm yeah. home. Well, I don't even care. And then one time he threw up in my eyes. Like, that was your fault. Because you thought it was too much popcorn. <laughs> he does. I, I, I eat smart popcorn with him. Oh, yeah. Well, it is. He does. He 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 will barf in the. He's a good boy. He barfs in the. He goes to the shower. I didn't teach him that. You know, barfs in the shower. Yeah, you told me that he went to the shower. Yeah. yeah And, I, and since he is a dog from a temperate climate and he doesn't have that second coat of fur, he has zero hair. I, I wonder if that's not, he started to go gray at two. And I'm, I'm like looking at him like, Minnow, yeah, yeah, is, cold. is harboring you here in Maine with the cold winters, is that making you go prematurely gray? <laughs> Exceptional. He is an exceptional dog. Um, oh, I love him. He's amazing. <laughs> and he goes out, and I never worry because he's always there. And he goes out, and I never worry actually. Like my guy, chalk up hanging out. He's like he's a super dog guy too. Yeah. Like he's more dog. He's a dog rescue guy. And he's like, oh, Minnie has no hair. And I'm like, listen, is smart enough to know when I let him out, he gets cold. If I don't have his little. I got him a sweater too. But I asked him, you know, he just does not need to be in this cold environment. I know. He doesn't like it. 
No. Do you want to live to tomorrow or do you want to be in the cold? Well, you know what? I honestly don't mind looking about for sure, but, um, you know, that always has the, the monetary price tag. It's not just about what? moving, but then it's like, okay, now what am I going to do for work? <laughs> you know? yeah. It's never been a quite a fruitful endeavor for me to bridge because looking so at the grass greener somewhere else at, is costly. So why does he want to get men out? Like, and it's, like he has zero hair. He does, but he's got. I've made him a lot of clothes and a coat. Of course, his coat's here, and you're there. No, I got him another sweater. He's okay for now. Um. Oh no! Um, I have been, I have been, I have been. Are you like the pretty girl I'm getting Well, pretty in the sense that I've not had a bath or washed my hair for about a week and a half. <laughs> yep, it's been that long so far. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I did one Watch. YouTube and they cut that bone at your toe and I'm like, I think I'd be well, better not not to know. It's our bone. It's our bone. Like it is I mean, I know our skin is like okay, it's really important. Mm -hmm. But bone is painful. Yes, bone is painful. I think that's what I think that's yeah, but but for me, I read that the pain is is just really bad, but honestly, I'm not feeling it. So I stopped taking the drugs. I'm not feeling it. Um, I don't feel a surgery. What I do is I have to finagle hot spots. Is all. So where's the hot spots? Well, because there's well, this isn't the a real cast. It's kind of a splint in a fluffy cast. For now, I get the other cast uh, two weeks after the surgery. Um, okay. It still has uh, some sort of hard sort of shell. And it's how the heel rests on it, or you know, with the leg up, or something. It's, uh, that's what I'm feeling because I I know where the yeah, surgery sites right. are. <laughs> Is that Jake? <laughs> Enjoying, enjoying herself. What? She's doing herself. No, but she did say that like you need to comb out better. But whatever. I do. You, you need to think about that. She says that I need to comb out better. Yeah, she had a person that came by and she was like, "I'm just lost." Oh, 
I don't care. <laughs> it's not even an issue. Well, it's something to think about. It's, I don't really it's get how you positive. say it's not an issue and it's something to to not. It's not an issue, but something to think about, something not to think about. Well, for me being a person, yeah, I mean, like, a tumor is important. Um, you've never had, like, I mean, I don't know. I, I think, I think, I think that yeah, wet comment as yeah. a complaint that, that I didn't do a good enough comb out is, <clears throat> is easy to do when you pass it on to another person, like, Ashley who doesn't have the years of experience I do. I don't think I would have got that comment from the person if they, as the complaint, if they said it to oh, me directly. Angela, who can just actually just try to like do something and make you look bad? I mean, I, trust me, I've seen- Is that what she's, so Ashley provided the complaint that someone told her that I didn't do a good enough come out and so she passed it on to you with how many months of experience to my year? Zuh, to my years. So she's trying to make me look Angela, bad? Oh my uh, god, Angela, what is up? Angela, so, Angela, can we just like not spaz about it? Well, I'm not actually spazzing out, but I don't understand why, why either Ashley is a cunt or you're setting her up to be a cunt. <laughs> well, you should know who I am because I have your dog. <laughs> no, I mean it's kind of weird. I mean, okay. I, I mean, is it an innocent comment, or are are you are you rele relegating me to Ashley to play God over my ethical capability? <laughs> Oh, hey, wait a minute. You know what else we should talk about? The day that you were in the shop, whoever you did that treatment on, they came back and that was my retreatment, okay? So, can we get past? Oh, really? Yeah, that was yours. I redid your treatment. It failed. They came back with bugs, okay? Now, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. But if we're talking about things we should think about through other people... <laughs> I don't either. I don't either. Yeah, Honestly, I'm just kind of like, like sticking the shick since we we brought yeah. Ashley into this, who doesn't like show up ever and doesn't work at camp and can't wait to be like, okay, well, I I spent my time driving here and that got me some money, so I'm gonna leave the job to you, Angela, and you can stand in place and pop out twelve treatments, two hours a piece in one day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Angela, you're the hardest woman I've ever known. And honestly, um, listen, I feel like we're a family because I'm your dog. Like, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I know. I'm just, sh I'm just shitting you because you brought it up. Is all. No, I don't really. If, if, if Ashley is setting me up to be a cunt through your mouth, because she doesn't count. Either she doesn't count, or you you want me to have something to look at, and then what I have to say in reflection is, is the treatment you did, I did a retreatment on, and I, that that was your failure, but I didn't say anything to you. You know why? Because it's not 100%. It's not 100%. And even if it were 100%, I know that you're not always 100%. And why do I know you're not always 100%? Because you live the life's business 24-7, and you never get a reprieve from it, okay? So I don't really... Well, neither do you, because I'm always under <laughs> like, well... Angela, can you do a dream No, you know what? And, and, and you know, I don't mind rising to the occasion, but I can't rise to the occasion with one leg down. Honey. <laughs> or up, whatever it is. Honestly, I care about you so much, and... Oh yeah, because, Minnow would be well, to have some chicken with you, okay, so we could call him back. <laughs> you could have, yeah, have him off leash, but let him know he knows the word chicken, he knows the word treat. So you give him a chicken or treat when you want to come back and put that leash on. 
He is. He's delightful off leash, and he really enjoys to be off leash. The other thing he does, he drives me into places. People I'm living with in my bed. Yeah. Oh, to keep your hand moving on him? No, not the hand. No, he actually, he's he there's a hand thing. There is no, he does not have a hand thing. Really? No. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's always using his yeah. nose to like move my elbow or my oh, hand. My, so it's... my dog barks at that, you know, like, and I'll be like, cut the crap. You know, it doesn't, that's it's not doing that with you. That's weird. It doesn't. Yeah. Um, I pet him, and he really likes to be right next to me while we're sleeping. Like, yeah. So hardcore that he's pushing on me. Oh yes, he does. And, um, I'm like, I, but I'm the mom that let my kids sleep in my bed, so I also had my children. <laughs> Is everyone pushing on you? He's, he's another baby. <laughs> he another yeah. Pet. He's scribing onto your body heat. Well, let's set up a business somewhere warm, and I'll go work it. Oh no, you know what, honestly, let's see, um, I got, um, I go, I think it's Thursday to get, that's my two weeks, and I get a okay. cast, and uh, I do um, anticipate being more active after I get that cast, and, uh, well, yeah, and, and also for me, so I just don't sit around like a podling, but um, I do think that I can, it, it, there's a person here uh, that's, that can take Minnow for a walk. He's in the building, I have his, his phone number. It, it's also quite possible with the weather not being inclement and I have that off-road pneumatic wheel knee rover, I can do that too. Like, I totally let Minnow out at my house. Yeah. Yeah. Only because I'm afraid he's going to get eaten by other animals. Uh, yeah, hiding. yeah. I'd probably have that concern out in the, the wilderness also. Yeah. <laughs> but because he's so small. Yeah, he'd make a dainty Scooby snack. I still wouldn't want him to be a snack. <laughs> you know? He's like, no, I, I chose him. He's like, no, he comes back. He's, I, I, it's my fawn. Mm. I just call him. He is a fawn. No, he is a fawn. Like, I love him how he, like, holds his little front paw up. Like, like he just, it's very legal. I love him. I love your dog. <laughs> I will take good care of him. I do good care of him. Awesome. I promise you. <laughs> you know. But he's so funny. You know, he's just on thing. I know. He's cold as fuck. Cold. He's cold as fuck all the time. I know. Minnow doesn't have, he does not have a second coat of hair to blow. And also his whole belly is just skin. He's actually, for an Italian dog, he's, he, he comes manscaped. You know, he's just got that little ring of hair around his unit. I don't even like manscaping. You don't like manscaping? Well, Minnow kind of looks so Italian to me. He doesn't grow any hair on his chest. Yeah, let's talk about manscaping. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk about? <laughs> I don't know. I think Mino is ex expert expertly manscaped, and I had nothing to do with it. It's the cutest little thing to see that little ring of fur there, and his whole belly is missing fur and hair. He has a tiny dick in the world. He does have a tiny little dick, too. Mino does, but it's so cute. 
It's so cute. It's perfect. It's the size of a teardrop. You're so cute. It's the size of a teardrop. That's what I said. A well-bred teardrop. Okay. You gotta give them kudos. Cute kudos. It is. Minnow's right. lovely. Nothing, nothing like dangles ungainly. Okay, <laughs> that's beautiful. Ungainly. Nothing dangles on Minnow ungainly. You know, he does not have like big balls. He does not have a big pendulous <laughs> sloppy doppy dippy dick. <laughs> he's he's lean of form. You could see his muscles. What they're for? And he is a diamond cut velvet Adonis. <laughs> He's gem cut. He is, right? Exactly. <laughs> and the fastest thing in the world. And he always wants food, so he's so quick motivated. He is, he is definitely motivated by food. He's very, very food motivated. Food and snuggling. Yes, snuggling, cuddling, for sure. He does love to be I petted. Know, Yes, I do. He is the best thing on the planet. I know. No, he is the best snuggler. The best snuggler. He is. Oh my gosh, I know totally. I for for being as lean and bony as he is, he's he cuddles no, quite well. No, it, it's just like he's like he like gets in on his own. But like as a woman, you know, we always like kind of probably kind of a little bit fetal. Oh. Yeah, Min Minnow sleeps fetal, yeah, for sure. Like a little well, egg. <laughs> but Minnow will just like drive himself and cheat it, like whatever your body is doing. I don't know, he's cute. He is cute. I've never met a dog like him. I know, I know, Minnow's he's really unique. Totally, like, you know, you've met Bart. He's like, Bart! Bart. And Bart's outside. Bart. He's like, that door's. Bar, Bart's outside, Minnow's inside. That's cute. Yeah, no, Bart's outside. He's like, he's just a bad in the garage. And I keep the garage door, like, not completely shut so Bart can go in. And Bart can always come home. That's nice. funny so when it's negative six you bring him in and then he just drops yeah. heavy weight on you you're not freezing your pet like your vagina labia lips are frozen to each other <laughs> my labia lips were frozen to each other one time right <laughs> they were not frozen to each other one time I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me dry <laughs> Yeah, he's probably used to that. Minnow seems. I, I actually, yeah. Minnow has. Well, I don't know. Minnow's communal. Yeah. Wouldn't you say? Minnow is. I don't even you know where he is. Oh, there he is. I'm just glad he only like, pooped once on my floor because I was going to be. That's not fun, but it is understandable in a new environment. Oh, oh no, he did it. So when I got my note from you, we went to my boyfriend, like, you know, the Benefer guy. Yeah. <laughs> but he is all in the um, rescue dog. So he, there is a shit ton of poop, smells, and test smells in his house. 
Ah, okay. You know? So minnow's just adding to the layers because it's already oh, there. Of course. Mm. Dogs get in there and be like, oh, I saw something. Now this is where I do my business. Yeah, yeah. of course, because look at how yeah, I can tell everyone else did their business here. Yeah, yeah all, okay. Yeah. So he has all this world already. But no, but then Mina came here and saw, but no, Mina's been a good boy. He's been so cool and calm. We cooked one night. Oh, what's that? Um, I know you like to try to keep you know, it all. He definitely likes um, wet food now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, that's great. He's. No, it's not great. Well, you know, he should enjoy it while he's got wet food. <laughs> what? I said he shouldn't. If you're feeding him wet food, he should enjoy oh, while I he's did. got it, you know? It's They get wet food too. They get a mixture. It's a mixture. Yeah. But actually, my boyfriend, like, Chuck, he's not going to get funny. Anyway, um, he will mix it with their dry food, like with a fork. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't like that. <laughs> anyway, how did we get that? Oh, all right. Now you're not. Let's just rip this thing apart. No, you know, no. What is going on? That is a lot of fluffy stuff. He is so fast. He's the fastest thing in the world. Ah, yeah. All right. We're going to work on your speed. Me? No. I didn't hang up. <gasps> All right. That's Christine. That's who I work for. And apparently someone's who I did a comb out a while ago came back to tell Ashley who works at the clinic once in a while once in a great while <laughs> uh, that I didn't do a good enough comb out there's something fishy about that one what amount of content are we starting with? Ashley's not the benefactor of doing the good work to know what the artificial bug content was to begin with. So I do not understand if it was a backward complaint to go forward uh, on my pate and plate that I didn't do a good comb out. I'm like, Tell it to me if you have a complaint. <laughs> okay, because so that's the first fishy thing. Uh, I heard through Ashley, who has a few months' experience to my years, uh, being stalwartly doing the most um, the most applications uh, without stopping, and I believe that number is twelve. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> one right after another at a girls camp and drove almost two hours there and had to drive two hours back afterwards. So my choice, Christine's like, why don't you go, why don't you go home, get a good night's rest and go back? It's, it's because I'd have to go back. That adds four, hour, four, four extra hours to my day. 
So I stayed up late at the camp with the girls and just called it um, partying. <laughs> partying with the girls night, but I was doing life treatments. Um, it's fishy. You don't know what the content is. So if, if I'm really meant to have this for something to think about, whether Ashley told Christine to tell me to have something to think about, or Christine's telling me via Ashley to have something to think about, I'm like, one, what are the, what are the charges from the original complainant? Uh, because I was there and we need to know what the original bug content and egg content was to understand what leverage <laughs> I have to contemplate about what I didn't come out. <laughs> There's other contingencies too. There's type of, types of hair. There's also, you know, often, if not always, I always let people know often, if not always, because I, I say the same thing over and over again. Um, when I'm doing treatments is that with the use of heat, um, well, without heat, your highest priority would be physical removal. But with heat, um, it allows me to do a comb out till I have a wet napkin, till I have a wet napkin that's clean. So I comb until I'm not seeing anything coming off the comb on the wet napkin wet will hold the contents of the lice comb when I wipe on it. So I've, I've had customers come back and say, oh, I need another come out and I get it. That's fine. It's, it's not a problem. Uh, approached, broached, breached, beached, uh, the right way, the right way you are paying me via Christine her business to to provide a service I may have I most likely said and it's fine for you to readdress it but I also certainly probably provided you the means to do it yourself <laughs> as well because that's another conversation I have with the use of heat then I'm going to come until I have a clean napkin however uh, Viable eggs are laid at the scalp. You, client, might freak out when your hair, as it grows, half inch a month, those eggs that I didn't get via the comb, grazing the scalp, pulling it down the hair shaft, and wiping in a wet napkin, it's conceivable I didn't get the ones close to your scalp, but you may notice them as the hair starts to grow. We treated with heat. Heat is to target the eggs, to dehydrate them, to make them not viable. <laughs> You're welcome to do a, a head check, as I have wet napkin and a good quality comb in hand which I will recommend the one we use in the shop, in the clinic, in the salon, and, and show you how to do a head check is also the way you follow through for doing a comb out. <laughs> okay, so, so bring yourself or your client back, and I'll give it another combing, but it's not really, I perceive, my failure. I already lent the information. <laughs> it is conceivable, <laughs> especially if you're working with a ton of eggs, <laughs> that they're going to slip through the tines, especially when they're close to the scalp. <laughs> and I've also lent the information of how to get them out. probably in a bit of a, a at least a, a jousting tit for tat because honestly I'm just sitting here <laughs> it's almost like physical engagement <laughs> so so I don't mind like bring me bring me bring me your 
S word, your sword, your sword, your your S word, your S E E E. Bring me your 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 seen word. <laughs> Let's joust, <laughs> jot jot and tittle and joust. <laughs> uh, because why not? Um, Christine on the other end, I suspect um, she's probably drinking some wine because of the breaks in the conversation. More, more like the breaks between the question that wasn't really given width and breadth and follow through for me to answer. For instance, uh, we've had this conversation before. Christine would like me with my sewing machines to make um, fitted uh, dresses for women's big knockers to be held comfortably with support but still have pretty strapless backs. And um, I don't have the machines for that. Uh, uh, industrial machines are specific. So my feed dog, my, my needle gauge of, of what, what, what width, uh, how big the thread can go through, um, the, the motor on it, the horsepower, um, the, does it have a walking needle? <laughs> you know, why would you have a walking needle? Well, you're working with slippery fabric. So it pierces the fabric and pulls both the layers through at the same time. I've got an industrial, uh, heavy duty, uh, walking needle. And uh, it's not going to sew pretty broad material. <laughs> I've got a cute little plastic home machine that goes that makes me aware of every plastic part in it. It's by Singer. It's <laughs> Okay, I use that if I want to dabble in in making something homemade. Uh, a buttonhole. Because <laughs> my industrial walking foot, it will so put a needle through your finger because I know it will. <laughs> You've seen 69 bonded thread that holds 10 pounds a stitch is, um, you know, it's not going to do a buttonhole. <laughs> so I'm not really testy. I don't mind. I, I don't mind. Honestly, if someone comes back into the shop, I want to feel, I want to feel the complaint and I want to make it right. Anything else seems a bit mishmash to me. And, and then it gets me thinking that's fishy fishy in the desert <laughs> okay so i grew up in the desert i was born in the desert and i never ate fish or seafood in the desert because it stinks stink stink donk it smelled fishy okay <laughs> it would seem it's a byproduct of plucked H hyphen A hyphen P hyphen L in parentheses with a hyphen U hyphen C hyphen K hyphen T. Hap with the fortune. I I pucked and plucked. <laughs> a comment to bring on board. Nah, I'm not I'm not I'm I'm being a tart. I am probably because I'm somewhat uh, bored. But not necessarily bored. I, I, it's just I'm docked. I'm docked right now, and uh, the only uh, value I can bring to my S T E L L as the cell, as well cell ass ass weld, is really marketing. Uh, so you know who you're talking to, broadly speaking. <laughs> That way you know what you're getting into, and if you know what you're getting into with my image I am selling, telling, um, you'll bring the value uh, that you think my jest and guest state has a uh, daft and draft afforded. The dead head. <laughs> 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 
D, zero, B. DB is decibels, date of birth, C, lent, silent, C, yes, I lent, I lent the silence to B, a negative value, artistically speaking, to the positive shape and the negative. Artistically speaking, your positive and negative shape should uh, equal, equally contribute to the beauty, to the art, to the message, to the heart and hearth. <laughs> I miss Minnow, but I needed someone, especially after surgery, to uh, someone that was able-bodied to attend to Minnow, even if that means taking him on a walk with the leash when he would be would prefer to be off leash. Uh, the best I can do uh, after surgery would be on a leash also. However, I wanted to give myself that that grace period to understand. Uh, to recover from being addled with drugs and anesthesia, <laughs> to finally poop, <laughs> as I will, <laughs> get some body uh, uh, maintenance, some body flow back, and, um, you know, not have Minnow right there hounding me, like, what are we going to do? And it's like, I'm sorry, I need to go sleep this shit off. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Uh, no, I thought, it, I thought it was better for the dog, for Minnow, to have someone able-bodied that, um, that would have the means to, to pay attention to him to meet his needs at the very least, uh, which would be pooping and peeing, and if you please, please pet me and play with me. <laughs> Minnow likes tug of wear. That's what we call it. And free as rise be, frisbee. <laughs> um, what else? Chicken. He likes chicken. He knows that word. I, I speak to him a lot and he'll kind of cock his head and he'll do that with his little brows and his ears are like radial dials and he's like, He's listening. He's listening. I figure after, you know, a decade plus of communicating, as we do, um, he's going to tune into at the very least to know what certain things mean. You know, he knows what frisbee is. He knows what chicken is. He knows treat. Uh, um, let me see. I started to introduce him to lamb lung and beef, beef stick. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, he likes pet. He likes play. He's a good dog. He really is. I just, I would find him underfoot right now because um, I felt I needed the grace, the tabled stable grace to pay attention to my own recovery. Uh, so it, it, it comes to pass in good stability to then uh, foster uh foster uh, our relationship with uh, equitability, equanimity produced by, well, equitability produced by as much equanimity as I, equanimity as I can bring. So equal value to uh, sustenance. <laughs> 